Welcome back to Minecraft. I have Malinka and Demon is here as well, but hello Malinka. Hello. Oh, I'm not, and there's Demon arriving. You're hello. Late. You're late. It's the heavy armor he's wearing. It makes him a bit slower. I thought it was just his Yes, brain. it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's mean. I know. I was You're allowed right to hit him. Go right ahead, Demon. High five. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so this episode, um, we're going to set up some auto crafting solution with logistic pipes. Uh, at least me and Malinka are. Um, Demon is going to be pottering around, tidying up some of the mess that we made last episode. So that's good. Um, cool. So there's three, four things that we're making um, in this episode, and I think the first one that we'll make. Um, is our crafting solution. We'll save that other thing for last. Um, okay, so the first thing that we need to do any kind of crafting solution with logistics pipes is to do logistics crafting tables. And I'm just gonna, even though we've got like 30 of them here, I'm gonna start, oh, you know what, I've got the recipe here, just grab them all, screw it. I'm gonna be greedy. Um, and then the other part here is crafting logistics pipes. They're just stone gears basic pipes and redstone so again I'll just grab all 30 it's kind of, kind of cool and this is something called a crafting sign creator with diamond chip set to gold and the sign here it's completely um, not required a part, a part of the build it's just that I like them that's the only reason they're, they're not required at all it's so freaking useful <laughs> it has its uses, yeah, and we'll show you how they're useful at some point, but that's cool. Um, on me, I should note that I've got some gold transport pipes and some other basic logistic pipes, which are worth carrying around with you because you might need them later uh, when you're building the system. So let's head over to the palace, shall we, Malinka? Yep. Let me pick up one little thing I just thought of. Already in the system? No. Never I'll tell you what I will pick up, actually, now that I'm here doing stuff, um, is I'm going to request about four logs and um, about four iron and that will come in later what I'm going to be doing with those okay let's jump for my love da -da. Uh, you know what I think I missed did you up. actually remember the portal you know last what, time uh, yeah I did yeah um, yeah I kind of messed up because Malinka I'm a derp. Yeah. This needs to go back one. Oh, balls. Uh. Geronimo! Th th thanks. I'll leave that hole there if you want to bat shit through. I'm Batman. <laughs> okay. Just keep it tidy. Yeah, I was off by one. And I'll place that here. Okay, the reason is just because of the way I want this designed out, that's all. I'm being a fussy git with... Uh, honestly, we all are. With this particular season of builds, we're being really fussy. It's it's cool, though. It's working. Um, <laughs> you should see what happened downstairs. Fire... Uh, well, he actually made a tunnel to connect up the, this golden pipeline. And I'm just walking after him, cleaning up everything, uh, aligning the walls, stuff like that. <laughs> We're all so fussy for this build. <laughs> yeah, it's good though, it's good. I mean, you saw the transvector interface last episode of our auto um, smelting, and the fact that we've used all those transvector interfaces is completely over the top, but, as I say, we're being a bit fussy. Um, so as, a, as I've done here, is I've placed all of these crafting tables down, there's loads of them, um, which is should be looking good. And you know what? I might be changing my it looks mind like an already. Iron wall. Yeah, because I don't think I can put the crafting signs on this side. I think they go on the pipes. They go on the pipes. That's true. Yeah, so for it to look correct, it needs to all go back one more f further. Yep. And oh, we had we'll the just pipe have to turn it right around. Uh, the yep. Okay. Changing the pipe again for you. Yeah. Sorry. It just suddenly occurred to me. It's just yeah, like, it happens. Told you, super fussy this season. Yeah, it's gonna make it hard to walk behind the system though, because of what I've just done. Oops. Uh, oops. Keep on jumping. 
Oh, are you going to try and place a block underneath? It's going to work, it's going to work. Go. No, nope, it's not working. <laughs> it's not Chris working, I'm going to give you a gold you pipe. Jump, jump. Um. There's a lot of uh, jumping okay, songs not, today. Let's not be an <laughs> asshole and uh, close this up while you're flying. Okay. <laughs> I was actually so tempted. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the reason I moved it is actually I'm going to move the, the tables... Um, yeah, along this line, which, like so. Yeah, we d I'm definitely going for, like, a particular look of the palace, uh, so that's why it's going super ultra clean. And uh, to each of these uh, crafting tables as such, we're going to be placing these crafting pipes, and they'll all be connected now on the network, which is great. Um... Like so. Um, oh, that's interesting. Oh, I might. That might not work. Uh, Malinka, do you want to get rid of that item case and find a new position for it because uh, it's connecting yep. to the on the other network. side, actually. Where's Where's my axe? Uh, my bow. <laughs> okay, so uh, the first thing I'm going to teach uh, the system. Is something that's actually quite painful to build, and uh, you know what? I forgot some cobble. So let me go. Grab I'm wondering, some. is this thing made out of obsidian? I oh, know it's a pain. So yeah, so oh, you broke everything. Oh, that's because it needs to be chopped down with an axe. It's made of wood. Uh, don't put it on that side. I uh, no. Uh, I was oh, no, actually using right. the axe, and the yeah, you're right. Put place it. On that side, that's cool. Yeah. But with the axe, it didn't work actually. I had to use my pick. Oh, okay. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to teach the network how to make certain things. And one of the hardest and annoying things—it's not hardest; it's just annoying to make—is cogs or uh, the gears. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place through on the system each step of making a gear. So you take some uh, a log and it turns into planks, that's pretty obvious stuff. And with my wrench in my hand, if I wrench the pipe that is working with it, um, then you've got all sorts of inputs, satellites, priorities, outputs, imports, and all of this stuff, right? And all of these inputs and satellites, they have uses, which we'll get into later, but to be honest, with these crafting tables, it's one simple thing to do, import. And that's all you need to know. When you're working with crafting tables, you just use the import button. Um, there are other things later on, but, you know, that's that side. Um, right, next thing to making a cog is turning the planks into sticks. So what we'll do is go on to the next one. And you can turn two planks turns into sticks and we basically told our network that's how it works import is done and yeah and you've gone in and imported it cool All right so the next thing is the uh, gears so if I actually type in here um, gears and I'm going to show you something another way of doing this than the way I've done it is if I go into the third one here and select wooden gears now that requires four sticks if I place, um, if I use any eye here and shift click into here, it will make a cog. The next thing I want is a stone gear. Shift click, stone gear. Next thing I want is uh, iron gears. Shift click, iron gears. Um, you know what? I might as well, while I'm working on gears, I'll go up the whole line. This one's gold gears. And on the very rare occasions that we ever use them, I may as well tell you how to make diamond gears, it's fine. Um, I think the rest I probably won't worry about, because they're really kind of obscure gears that are only used occasionally recipes. It's all so set up. You've all set those up? Okay, cool. Yep. So now I'm going to so take... Show the, off the other toy. <laughs> yeah. So this crafting sign creator, again, not necessarily required, but if you, uh, I think it's right click, on any pipe here, it will display what it's making. 
So when we're trying to decide, oh, I, if I got a recipe for that sorted out, then you can just look on the wall here. So the idea being when you come up down this corridor here, hence why we moved everything, um, is you'll have a line of these tables and you'll be able to look up and see all these recipes. Um, so I'm going to show you this in action by making a, um, a stone gear. Uh, in fact, Malinka, uh, oh no, I'll better do it from from my side first. Uh, Malinka, come with me because I want you to request the same thing as me just a, a bit later. Uh, can I bump into this area, Demon? Just. Uh, yeah, sure. Cool. So if I request, so what do you want me to request? A stone, uh, uh, a stone gear, which I also want you to request in a, in a minute. Um, oh, we've got nine. Um, Let's request Get those, those out first, I'd say. Yeah, let's request those nines. We've got zero. Okay. And now what's what's different that you'll notice now that uh, I've typed in the word gear is that although we've got like one wooden gear and whatever, but it, some of it says it's got zero next to it. Um, but it's still available to be requested. So if I want a stone gear, I can just ask for it. So if I hit one here and request, it will go ahead and request it and even though we had zero in the system in a moment once it does all of its work you'll see it pop out I'm hoping it takes a little while just because the way we've got it rooted through but I'm at, we're working on shortening the time on some of that stuff just because it's got a, a distance to go across that room Is that come out that stone gear? Nope Oh, oh here it comes Yeah it's just taking a really long time um, yeah, now I think you understand why I was being fussy about how much space, <laughs> how many squares it's going through. But, um, oh, wait a minute, I'm going the long way. Um, so you stay there and request another stone gear in just a moment. What I'm going to do is prove that there's something happening here in a, in a way. So if you request another one. Doing that right now. Yeah, we should see some action on these pipes. should certainly see some movement down here. And you can see that the stone went into the right places. The wood probably has as well. And uh, yeah, look, there goes the wooden gears. It's found from a chest actually. It just used the wooden gears, supposed to making the sticks. Eventually got its way over here, and it should be sending its way out. Ooh. Yep, got Already. it. Yeah. So yeah, it's just basically grabbing everything. Now the reason why it's taking such a long time is the route that it goes through is quite ridiculous right now. Is um, especially as it picked up some stone gears, uh, sorry, uh, some wooden gears. What it did is it requested the, the wooden gears off of this back line of chests, which then had to travel all the way round here, down under the ground, back up over the ground again, across here down under the ground again and then it travels underneath our feet through a corridor and into this mesh here and then back out again annoyingly <laughs> all the way over here and then underground here which I was going to show anyway uh, it goes into one of the end of chests and then back out to the room hence why it's taking so long we'll work out how to shorten those routes up but oh we said about being fussy in the corridors you know this was only just like supposed to be a pipe route through here but yeah the other <laughs> thing that we've learned is about long routes um, is that sometimes the items get a bit confused if you've got like massively long corridors of pipes so what I've done is every few pipes or whatever I've switched out um, the gold pipe for basic logistic pipes and what it that does is it refreshes the instruction about where that item's going. Um, it just, you'll notice it when there's some very, very long pipes that you're working through that not only will it slow down, but sometimes it will just give up. So just to, you know, keep it moving, keep it working, with the, just put some basic logistic pipes up along uh, a long route of wire and it should work. Every 16 or so blocks I recommend should be fine. Um, yeah, I'm almost starving to death. That's here. it. That that's it for that half <laughs> of, of the build. I know this is 
fairly quick and easy. We're going to be doing loads of stuff off camera to build out that so that we've got a lot more things. Like one of the first things that we'll do is we'll teach the crafting system how to make logistic pipes. We'll teach it how to make these crafting pipes and we'll tell it how to make these crafting tables. That'll be one of the first things that we do. Um, the other reason why I put this case here, um, if I um, right click, uh, I think I need an empty Shift hand. right click, empty inventory. Yeah. So we open the case here. I'll have to remember to keep an empty hand while doing this. And then I think I should be able to... Oh, crap. I'm not used to using this. Shift right click again and close it. So now, yeah, we've just got our item display here. And we can just grab our sign whenever we want it. So, you know, there's three of us on the server. It just means anyone can come in and use it, which is fine. Um, right. One last build, and the next one's fairly quick. And that's this uh, episode, uh, sorry, this soldering station. That's what I meant. And here is something called a logistics request table. And if I add some iron to that recipe that I just had in, look in any iron, because it's a fairly complicated recipe. So um, do that, add that iron to get the cooking going, and then grab this table. Now, we're not sure exactly how this works, so we're just going to do a quick test. So I'm going to place this table against this pipe and see if it works. It does. I'm pretty sure it does. So now as you can see, I can do crafting here um, on this table. This is very similar to applied energistics crafting system in, in its way, but it does it with a bit of a flavor of whatever. Now if I requested some wood, I can request the wood the same way and hit request. And when it comes down the request pipe, instead of it going onto the floor, what it does, it goes into the inventory of the table uh, out here. So that solves Malinka's moan that he's been having. is requesting and <laughs> we all stand there. But that, that solves that. Um, the other thing is, is let's say for instance I wanted to make this, for example. And I can request four sticks. And what it will do, even though I've got no sticks actually in here, I've requested sticks to be made. So uh, the sticks turn up and land in this table. So that way I can just pull out the gear or click it and it will make the gear for me and place it in the table. So that's one cool thing to be able to do with it. Um, <clears throat> that's fine and uh, I think I can, yeah, right click to clear the table. Now the other thing I could do, say I wanted a wooden gear, is using any eye, I can shift click say I want one or I can actually say I want more so I think oh, was it plus plus is usually a request of 10 the three pluses is as a stack so if I request 10 of these it's actually going to give me 40 sticks to make 10 wooden gears trust me I'm going to be using the wooden gears I don't care that I'm making them even though I don't need them um, and again over here if I wanted to I can oops wrong one um, I can hit here and hit craft and this will tell me everything that the system is able to craft which I believe you've just taught the system how to make logistic pipes, redstone torches, diamond pipes and cobblestone transport pipes that's what you're doing in the background is it? Yep, a basic logistics, provider logistics, supplier, uh, mark 1 and mark 2 chassis Yeah. and then I run out of crafting tables so that's okay. it for now so then I can just click how many wooden gears I want and then grab the wooden gears and you know I, I, if I need to put stuff back into the, t the system again I can just use my pouch here which is fine um, I can put all this stuff back actually uh, and tidy up quite a bit of my inventory I'll put this and this in as well that's fine um, yeah but that I'm just using gears as an example but to be honest uh, let's say something that we know is not in the auto crafting system in case you think it's an auto crafting thing that's going on here it's not anything that uh, any recipe can be shift clicked into here and it will give me the materials if I have it in this case I do because I know I can see here I've got like five furnaces sitting in the system somewhere um, they're the furnaces that used to be on this wall actually um, so yeah, as long as we've got the materials for it. If I don't have the materials, like this induction furnace, it will put it in, but if I request the materials, it's probably going to grab me the copper and then tell me to get lost. Yeah, missing one advanced machine casing, missing one electric furnace. 
So, yeah, it'll tell you what you're missing anyway, and you can go through and sort it out. It's not bad. I quite like it. Um, yeah, it's going to help us quite a bit. And we're going to try and put one of these um, tables, or, or at least a request pipe, if not a table, but anywhere where there's an important amount of crafting to be done, then we'll do that. Stuff that I have in mind is, one is this magic tower, in the bottom floor is all our form craft stuff. Somewhere on the fourth and fifth floor is our Ars Magicus stuff, which will be there eventually. Um, so I, those two rooms, because there's so much that needs to happen in them, um, like the one up here and the one on the ground floor, they'll have request pipes in them. And finally, another room which requires a lot of materials that we need to request often um, is this building here, which is coming up in an episode, no, I don't know, in a, in a week or two, I don't know, a couple of weeks till we get this episode going. But this is uh, our industrial craft room, eventually, once we've obviously built the whole building. Um, but yeah, that's the idea, this is industrial craft. Um, but I think, was it, we were discussing that next week's focus, or I say next week, for us it's next week because we have a record, but... Uh, for you as the audience, we're talking in the next episode or two, um, is we're going to do auto mining. And I've got quite a nifty system. And what's the date today, anyone? It's the 25th of January. Okay. So, yeah, today as of the 25th of January, I have a build in mind. It is to do with um, a tunnel bore system. Now I hear on the rumour mill that Dire Wolf has got a buyer, uh, a bore that's being built that is pretty similar to what I've got in mind and um, but I only hear it on the grapevine and he actually doesn't have it as of the 25th of January he doesn't have it on his channel and there's a chance we beat him to it but for those that watch us and Die Wolf and I know there'll be a few of you out there um, if they land at the same time it's not because we copied him <laughs> trust me it really isn't it's just you know I'm Dumb luck, actually. Yeah, it's going to be In dumb luck. Yeah, and a lot of people have great ideas. Yeah. So, Sometimes the reason why you. we're doing it now is because there's a been a change to a uh, modular force field system. And, and I believe the requested change to make the whole thing work was requested by Die Wolf in the first place, but I think we're, there's a bunch of us who had the build in mind who who are all waiting for this change, and it was just like, okay, the change has been made, now we can do this tunnel war. So, yeah, we'll see it. But it requires, what, MFFS, we'll do a bit of applied energistics, and um, we'll hook it up into our logistic next, the network. So, yeah, I apologise if it ends up being a carbon copy of Die Wolf. I know that we've both got it in mind. It's just, uh, yeah, we'll see who gets it first. <laughs> but we're not copying. I promise you, it's not a copying. It's just literally a change to MFFS has come in that makes this whole build possible. So. Holy shit, is that a resonant energy cell? Wow. It, uh, is. it is. Why did you go... Oh, is that the, the absolute top one? Bottom that one. is the absolute top. I'll have a look because I'm curious. Well, in this case, bottom one, if you look at the stack here. <laughs> okay. True. Yeah, yeah, you've been busy kind of like upgrading our stuff, so instead of hardened energy cells. And uh, I'm just going to be a really fussy bastard, as I was before. But um, I like to come into this room and see where the power is at by just looking around the corner. Right now, if I want to see what the power is at, I have to do one of two things. I have to click on each of these energy cells, or I have to come around the corner and then have a look. So, uh, just to save my craning my neck around the corner, I'm going to pick up all of these cells. Hopefully, I picked them all up. Yeah, I did. I'm going to replace them back down again. They might need resetting up. I apologize if they do. But if I face this way and I place all these energy cells down, then all of the displays will be facing me. And let's see if I get a jump on. There we go. That's better. And I'll change the configs on here as well, just in case. So that's right. That's correct. That's correct. And that's correct. And that's correct as well. Yeah, cool. Right, looks, looks like we're good. 38 million RF in supply. Yeah. 
How Let's much get the lasers burning. burning. Is that a million? Five million. Fifty mil. Fifty million. No, the redstone energy cells. Is that ten million on my screen there? That's ten. Yeah, redstone is ten, and resonant is fifty million. Okay, so that's like the equivalent of five of those. That's crazy. It's very expensive what you've just made there. Let's. I'll show on camera because we. The recipe, I guess. Resonant. Energy cell. So it requires these enduring ingots we made last time around a redstone energy cell, which we've made previously, which is electromagnetic. It's not too bad. The four enduring ingots could be worse. Because I already put some enduring ingots in the, in the system, actually, didn't I? Because I had some left over. Yep. Cool. Oh, you need some more flute pipes. Good thing I've got a couple on me. Yep. yep. Nice. Well done. Um, so the idea for this room is uh, lava generation at the back going into these magmatic dynamos. You saw in our forestry room we're making bio engines, so we'll have perhaps a bio s a bunch of engines over here. Probably not dynamos, we might actually do some build craft stuff, so I may end up getting rid of these cells here. And doing something different, yeah, but we'll see. Transporting buildcraft power is pretty annoying, though. We'll have it's, to see how. It's true, but um, there are ways and means. One of which is to um, transport the liquid around, I guess. Uh, I'll have some means of doing it, but yeah. It'd be nice to have some proper raw buildcraft power just in case. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, I think I've leaked out this episode long enough for no good reason. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed checking out some auto-crafting solutions there. And, uh, yeah, next episode we've got a big... Or next episode or two, we've got a big mining solution coming up. So uh, keep an eye out for that. From me, Malinka, and Demon, thanks for watching. As per usual... Leave, see you next time. Leave a like and subscribe and all of that. Good jazz, and, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.